Hey everyone, this is John from Technical Machine. Uh, I wanted to do a quick demo of what it looks like to use the Firebase application with Tesla 2. Um, so we're going to look at the code really quickly. It's really simple uh, and it looks like pretty standard node code. So we're importing the Firebase library. We're importing the Tesla library so that we have access to the hardware APIs. And then we uh, import the library for our accelerometer module. Um, so once we plug in the accelerometer module, uh, we just tell Tesla to use port A um, and we get a reference to our accelerometer object. Then we get a reference to our Firebase app and then once we have data from the accelerometer, we just go ahead and send it on up uh, to the Firebase app. And so that's as easy as it is, as easy as it can be to send data, streaming accelerometer data up to Firebase. And then just for kicks to show a two-week communication, uh, I have whenever the X values on the server change, they send them back down to the client and I print them out. So to run this, uh, we go over to our command line and do Tesla run app. So it's going to send that code I just showed you uh, over Wi-Fi to Tesla and it's going to start running. So if we look on our Firebase app, we can see uh, in just a second, the values uh, start changing. And so if I pound on the table, you can see the, the values moving in real time. And if I tilt the Tesla, you can see the values start to slide. So just like that, you have streaming accelerometer data into Firebase. And if we look at the console, uh, we can see those, those X values being sent back down as the code dictates. So that's it. That, that's all you have to do to get hardware data all the way from the sensor up to the cloud and back. Um, and so um, we're really excited to announce Tesla 2, and it works really, really well with Firebase. So we think that this is going to empower a lot of people to be able to build applications really quickly.